Hi and welcome to MultiTeach, an exciting new teaching software designed to give teachers the tools to create engaging, fun, and memorable interactive lessons in a matter of minutes. In this tutorial, I will create a geography-based activity using the Groups application, just one of the 10 applications found in lessons. So let's get started. Upon opening MultiTeach, you will find the main menu, offering a selection of pre-built applications. We will focus today on the Lessons icon, found under the Science heading. Clicking on the icon will bring us directly into the Lessons Creation tool. There are two options on top of the screen, New and Import. Click New in order to create a brand new lesson. The software will guide you. Step 2. Select the application. Clicking on Groups will bring me to the third step. Edit Content. This is where we will design and manage the content of the lesson. Let's begin by naming the lesson. Everything we do here is saved automatically. I will call this Geographical Regions Grade 6. I can now create my groups by clicking on the Create Groups button. In this example, I will create three groups representing three geographical regions, Oceania, Asia, and Europe. I will now create content by clicking on the Create Content button, which will be associated with the relevant groups. In this case, countries, by simply clicking on the Content tab and typing the name of the countries. Note that everything I do is automatically updated in the preview window on the right hand side. I can now begin to customize the content. I will start by adding the flags of each nation to the content cards representing each country. This is achieved using the inbuilt web browser. You may also use files located on your network. If required, you may also add sound files to the content. I then simply drag the relevant countries to their respective regions. The groups and the software will automatically recognize these as the correct answers. This can be done using a mouse on a PC. At this point, I can begin to customize the look and feel of my lesson plan. Under the preview window, I can now adjust options such as font size, shadowing, background theme, or set a timer for the lesson. Simply click and pick the options. I can choose a theme for the background from one of the preset themes, or I can browse and access an internet image search to find a suitable background relevant to my lesson. In this case, I searched for Globe. I have now completed the lesson and can proceed to play mode to launch my interactive groups based lesson. Once in play mode, I can manipulate and resize the content by interacting with the classroom's interactive screen. The software will recognize the correct or incorrect placement of the countries in their groups as being demonstrated. The teacher can hide the correct and incorrect indicators by pressing the invisible button. The corner menu is always available, allowing me to edit my lessons in real time which also includes the Help button. Now let me demonstrate the completed lesson. As you can see, the software allows for multi-user interaction, ensuring an engaging and interactive lesson for the students. Students can work individually or in teams. And that has been a quick tutorial on creating interactive lessons using the group application.